Hey, I'm Lizzie McAvoy, and today in the Mac Shack Kitchen, we are talking about Swiss Chard. It's an amazing green. It's very sweet, not very bitter. Um, it comes in all different colors. You can get rainbow shard, which is really fun. This is red shard. Um, you can also get it in the traditional way of just green shard with a white stock. And that's actually the kind that my grandpa grew in his garden. He does to this day. As a kid, I'd go out and help him cut it. We'd bring it inside of my grandma and she would make homemade Italian wedding soup with it. It's so delicious. I'm using it in a recipe today and I thought I'd show you how to cut and clean it. So Swiss chard is grown in sandy soil. So typically when you get it from the supermarket, it is full of sand. And so you really need to be careful and wash it really, really good because you don't want to be serving your guests a meal or yourself and be having a little extra crunchy texture in there. Um, trust me, I've done that before. And so I have a two-step cleaning process. So place your shard in the sink and be sure to wash it really well. Then take a really sharp knife and please be careful and you're gonna actually de-rib your Swiss chard. And you're gonna take the knife and you're gonna come right down the stock. Hurry up. Again, keep your hands away from the knife. Come right down the stock and it'll come right off. So if the method of bringing the knife actually down the stock of the Swiss chard makes you nervous, you can always place it on a cutting board Bring your knife, again, keep your fingers away from the blade. Bring your knife along the stalk, just like this. Just trace that stalk line. Once you've de-ribbed all of your Swiss chard, wash again. What I like to do to make sure that it's nice and clean is I'll come in and I'll just feel the leaves and I don't feel anything gritty. So I think we're good to go. Oh, 